This is a super realistic AI content creator. I can create videos with this and even make money from brand deals like every other real content creator. In this video, I'll show you how I created this AI content creator and how you can create it yourself. In my previous video, I created the animated version, 3D version of an AI content creator. You can check it out after watching this video. And don't worry, I've made this very easy that even the 16 year old can understand. So stay with me as we create an AI influencer. My name is Charles. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to create your image. You can use any AI tool to do this, but the tool I found to give good realistic image is Peak Lumen. So we are going to go to peaklumen.com and sign up. If you're not signed up, once you have signed up and signed in, you're going to see this. What you're going to do is to click on create. Now, the next thing you need to do is to enter your image prompt here. So depending on the type of image that you want to create, remember we are creating a realistic image. So depending on it, you have to create your prompt to suit it. But this prompt here, I have made it in a way that you can change it to suit whatever type of thing that you want to generate. So for example, I want to generate a realistic image of a male, a real male influencer. So I said a realistic image of a black man in his early thirties, sitting inside a car, speaking directly to the camera in front of him, like a selfie video. Now, why I use this part is because I want it to have that feel like, okay, the person is close to the camera, holding it, you know, and talking. So that's why I added like a selfie video. He's wearing a blue polo. Now, if you want to create consistent character, you need to specifically state the color and the type of shirt or dress, whatever the person is wearing. So I said a blue polo, right? He's expressive, holding a cup of coffee in one hand and naturally um, gesturing and all that. So you can add a cup of coffee or anything. You don't need to add that. I just added it. And then say the scene is well lit to give it that bright light. Uh, natural lighting and all that so this is not really important all right so after you have done this you're just going to click on generate but before i click on generate like i said you can change this to white man or american man or female or an american woman in early 20s just change this prompt i'm going to leave all the prompts that i'll use in this video in my telegram channel so if you're on my telegram channel join it i'll leave the link in the description of this video so once you have this prompt what you're going to do is to click on this part here and make sure that it is in 16.9 if you want to do it for a youtube video but if you want to do it for a tiktok video shorts reels and all that you're going to use 9 by 16 all right so i'm going to choose 16 by 9 because i want the image to you know to be in form of like a youtube type thing right so i'm going to use 16 by 9 and then here you can change this all right but these other models are not you know are not free right but this is free and it's really really good so you use this at v1 model and then once you have that set you click on enter button here to generate and boom we have this image you can see it's a close shot image feels like a selfie he's holding a cup of coffee and the blue shirt now the goal is for this image to be as realistic as possible with natural imperfections you know close shots is really good for this type of videos you don't want to do a full shot close shots will give the ai more control when we are creating the video itself all right now we've gotten the first image the rest of the images that are going to be generating would be dependent on this first image so make sure the person in the image or the person you get or the image you get fits what you want because you are going to be referencing this particular image anytime you want to generate an image so we are going to go generate the next image as you can see for this next prompt everything looks the same apart from this part that says bench in a park the other prompt says i'm sitting inside a car but now i just changed only this part because I want the guy to be in a park and I want every other thing to be the same, including the shirt, right? Including the shirt, the style of video, and then including the coffee that is holding in his hand. So once we have all this, every other setting is the same. We are going to click here 
this part that says document and then we are going to click image reference and upload the image that we just generated all right so we are going to upload it which is this image right here i'm going to click on it and i'm going to leave this character reference at 0 0.8 so i'm going to leave this image i just generated there and you can see it's there i'm going to click on generate and boom we have the image ready you can see him sitting on a bench sitting in a park you know doing a selfie video and all that and i kept this cup of coffee here it's just it looks a little bit different but it's still fine i left this here because it gives that feel and it gives the bit of reality so um now we have this we are going to do different shots so what i'm creating different images is because at different point in time i might want to change shots for the influencer the influencer might be making the video outside inside or you know different environment it gives it um vibe and makes it look interesting so the next thing we're going to do is to generate another image of the influencer sitting on a couch inside his living room or something like that so for this one it's a bit tricky it's different because i'm expecting something different from um, the influencer i wanted to do something else so i'm going to say sitting on a couch this is different speaking directly to the camera he has expressive look and he shows both hands both hands are visible in frame resting naturally or gesturing so the reason why i want both hands to be in frame is so that the influencer at that point can just you know talk and do some hand movements and all that and his elbows also clearly shown he has a laptop on his lap all right i added this because i want laptop to show in that scene and then every other thing is is just describing the scene i'll leave this prompt for you like i said all right so what we are going to do is to click on this reference part here and upload the image reference again we're going to click here to add this so that it will look the same it's going to keep that look so once we have this we are going to click on submit to generate and boom we have the ai influencer you can see he looks the same right throughout the images you have been generating he looks the same so what we are going to do now we have this is to do the last part that i want to generate the last image which is a side view of him as you can see it's still the same prompt but i'm just going to generate it again so i'll get another type of image another angle and stuff like that so i've added the reference image what i'm going to do is to click on submit and guys you need to know that sometimes if you try to generate you might not get what you want so you have to try it over and over and over again until you get the result that you want you can see here i've generated different types i've generated different images i tried and tried and tried until i started getting what i wanted you can see I started getting what I wanted. So it's up to you to keep doing, keep trying until you get that result that you want. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed up to now. There are lots of helpful videos here. So like, comment, and share. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to go to this website called remaker.ai. Now, why am I showing you this? A lot of people would want to use their own face on their realistic AI content creator. So if you want to swap face, just go to this website, upload the image, and then upload the image that you want to swap to. Once you've uploaded both, you're going to click on swap, and then it's going to swap the face. It's going to take, for example, it's going to put my face on the image that I've generated. And boom, you can see this image that's put my face on this influencer's image but it didn't give me the kind of result that i want right but this is just by the way if you want to swap your face now if you want to generate images for free just go to this website go to ai.studio.google.com and then click on generate media right here and then select imagine now with imagine you can generate images for free all right you can generate images for free so use it while it's still free the next thing we are going to do is to write a script with ChatGPT. If the content is about motivation or content creation, whatever, whatever niche that you've chosen, just ask ChatGPT to create content for you, to write content. For example, I said you're a copywriter, give me 10 topic ideas on content creation. The topic should trigger emotional response from the audience 
write it in the most simple way that even a 10 year old can understand and then it gave me a list of topic ideas right and then i said oh write on number three it should trigger emotional response from the audience write it in the most simple way that even a 10 year old can understand and as you can see it has written the script for me it has written everything and it's it doesn't look like ai right i remember the first time i posted a video i was excited i thought this is it people will see it they will like it maybe even share it this is actually very good so i'm also going to leave this prompt in the document right so once we have this we are going to copy it and then we're going to go to 11labs.com and paste it here so i'm going to paste it and then after pasting you can just select the voice 11 labs has lots of voices it has realistic voices so i'm going to select mark mark has this natural conversation vibe and click on generate why i make videos even when nobody watches i remember the first time i posted a video i was so excited i thought this is it people will see it they'll like it maybe but for me if i'm creating a realistic ai content creator i would still want to use my voice remember i generated an african image african content creator so i'll need an african tone right this is not an african tone so what i'm going to do is to record the audio and take it to this next platform so we are going to go to dreamina.capcuts.com and then once we get there we're going to click on lip sync under ai avatar generator we're going to click on lip sync and then make sure that it's on master right now dreamina gives you free generation every day so you want to check it's not 100 free but it has the best results when it comes to ai video avatar so what we are going to do is to click on master here make sure it's an ai avatar import the image so we import our first image and then once we have our first image we are going to click on upload here if you want to use text you can just put in the text but i'm going to click on upload and then upload the audio file now you have to make sure that the file is not more than 15 seconds long so i'm going to click on this upload and upload an audio and then click generate and boom we have this now we have this first video we are going to repeat it for the second image the third image and the fourth image so depending on what you want the ai content creator to see you just have to upload it here so you have to script your video in a way that oh he might be talking about something in the car and then it moves over to the park talks about something else and then goes back to the laptop and you know talks about something and all that so you're just going to do that for all the images now after you've done that the next thing that you're going to do is to put all this together and it's not hard it's very simple so what we are going to do is to put all the clips inside CapCut. as you can see i've put everything in CapCut, and what i have to do now is just to move this and arrange it accordingly so based on your script based on what you've planned out you just have to arrange the clips and after arranging the clips if you want to add captions you can add caption you can also add transition to make it feel real don't just join it together add transitions if you want to add transition what you're going to do is to click on transitions here select the transition from the transitions that you're seeing here or just click on effects and then you know choose an effect to add right choose an effect to add so after adding your effects your transitions captions you know making it look good putting everything together you're just going to click on export put it on video and boom you have this why i make videos even when nobody watches i remember the first time i posted a video i was so excited i thought this is it people will see it they would like it they would even share it but hours passed, days, weeks, and nothing. No likes, no comments, no views. It felt like I was talking to myself. It felt like I was talking to my room, to an empty room, until I heard a voice. Be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. This is the future of content creation. 
you don't need to have fancy setup. You don't need to have lights, mic. You don't need to have all that. You can just simply generate your own content, your own content creator, and use it to close brand deals and make money online to pass that information and value that you have. I've left all the prompts that I used in this video in my Telegram channel. If you're not part of it, just click the link below this video to join my Telegram channel. And also, you want to watch this other video I made about 3D animation. So watch it. If you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. There are lots of helpful videos in this channel. So check them out, comment, like, share. I'll see you in this video. I did it because I know you're going to enjoy it. So. See you there.